All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mikey Pipes with Technician Kelvin. Yo. We're on our way to our third service call of the day. The uh, customer's complaint, as it was dispatched to me, is furnace not igniting. So, the first one was that horrible duck work. <laughs> Thank you for all the views and the comments. I think she's gonna go with the damper system. Service call number two, we did an emergency installation of a Navian NCB 180, hooked up to a Radiant system, exclusively Radiant. And I got some footage of that, but yeah, I'll post it later. And then uh, now we have our third one, furnace, not igniting. So stay tuned, I'll try to get some good shots. We'll get Kelvin some more hands-on and uh, we'll diagnose the system and get her up and running. Stay tuned. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Be All right. Oh, they're waiting for us. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What's going on? No heat? No heat. Mike? Yes. Oh, nice to see you again. You, you too, sir. Here. It's been a while. Well, back to going, yeah. I put in that power vented water heater in here. Yes, yes. A few yes, years did. back. Thermostat. Let's see what's going on. So, um, so I don't think it, I, I ever call you back uh, to even get a service, basically. Okay. Um, so basically, I don't hear the, you know, usually when you, when the thermostat calls for heat, you hear the yes. Right? No, you hear nothing happens. Hear a click, normally, and then yeah, but goes nothing. through the motions. Yeah, but not nothing happens. Okay. So, all right, Kelly, want to take a take a go out, or you want to me to lead the way? Excuse me. Lead, lead the way. Lead the way. Okay. It's not just put that off to the side. Faucet issue there, it looks like. All right. We do not have a pilot flame. Well, maybe. We could test the thermal coupling. Let's turn, let's turn that off. We'll try to relight it first. Let's see what's going on with the yeah. Oh, it's in my house. I was doing some work with my... Uh, you know my 17 million zones that I have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I was just asking. Yesterday I didn't see them Alright, so gotta burn them. 205. 130,000 input. I wanna try relighting the pilot first. And now on the top of the gas valve, you'll see it's on. I'm gonna put that to pilot. And this should go down. You can notice it's not. It's got to be on pilot. Okay, I want to hold that down. And let's see. Let's see if we can do this like that. Let's see. So I'm holding down that button. I'm going to bring a, a flame. Mm -hmm. uh, let me... Uh, Hold down the red plunger for about a minute. Okay, there are instructions on how to do this on the back cover of this boiler. Follow those to the T. They're written by lawyers for liability reasons. You notice the flame is uh, is blue, not too strong, and. The end of the thermal coupling, All right, as you can see, it's hard to see, but is in the flame. So I'm holding this button down like that. And when I let it go, the flame should stay on like that. See that? Flame is on. Now, I'm gonna put these burners back in. Let's get a good view. Get the flashlight out. And then let me sure this fires up. And we'll probably do a, a PM on this real quick. Alright, All right, let's look at the vacuum. Yeah. First, I'm gonna make sure this fires up. Ah, oh, these burnham tubes are annoying to get in. I can see back there. I have to go right into that slot. And they're annoying. Put 
wash it, chamber, cover back on, hook up our wiring, like that. Come on, to the rollout switch. Okay, I'm gonna put that back to on. Just like that. I'll let that cycle. And then I'll do a PM on this boiler. Kelvin. Yo. What'd you learn on that service call? <laughs> everything can be. Everything you touch is a can of worms, man. Correct. So we relit the guy's pilot, but then we saw the leak coming from the relief valve. I didn't notice the leak coming from the bottom of the pressure reducing valve, but uh, that was leaking as well, which I noticed after I replaced the expansion tank, which was full. <laughs> so that was a good service call. Banged that out in about a little over an hour and we cleaned out the combustion chamber. Um, I wanted to mention something like, someone asked me uh, in an email a, a couple days ago, like, uh, why do you post these how-to videos? It was actually another plumber. I was like, what are you doing? You're taking the money away from us. Like, what are you doing? People, you know, you don't need people to know how to relight their own pilots. And I was like, no, you're wrong. And for two reasons. Number one, I'd rather have a homeowner know how to to repla um, replace the flapper, relight the pilot in their on their boiler. You know, I'd rather ha be educate them with the with the little small things which are are, are safe to do as long as you follow the directions. Right, there are directions on the back cover of of the boilers to, to, for pilot lighting instructions, and I'm not joking. They're written by lawyers because of liability. But I would I would love to have you know a homeowner, like a new homeowner. Let's say just moving to the, my service territory. You know the pilot is out on their boiler. They go on Google. They go on YouTube. They see my video and they remember that. They remember that hey, Mikey pipes. You know, save them a ton of money by switching their car insurance to Geico. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was joking. But when and when the big jobs come along, they'll remember. Hey, listen, let's call Pipe Doctor, and that's that's the primary reason why I create these videos. The second reason is I love doing them. It's fun. So if you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of it, the best way you can support Pipe Doctor and this channel is by hitting that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Give me your thoughts, feedback, even your criticism down in the comment section down below. My 24 percenters, you know, 24 percent of the people who actually uh, are subscribers to this channel who watch my videos, they know what I'm talking about, all right? So be well, be safe, happy and healthy New Year. 2021 is going to be sick, isn't that right, Kelvin? Of course, man. Yeah, that's man. the year of Kelvin going to be in a, in, a, in a truck. Technician Kelvin will be in a truck finally. Man, I'm just trying to be a good tech, man. A good tech. You want to be the, a great tech. I want to be the best. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Be well, guys. Mikey Pipes. Technician Kelvin. Peace.